Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of update you on what's been going on since I got back from Japan. Yeah, there's so much that's already happened. I kind of feel like I neglected to involve you in two super exciting things, but I'm going to catch you up and try to do my best to keep you in the loop more. <clears throat> I've got my heater running, which you can probably hear in the background. I'm also sick. And I got back Sunday at like 12.30 a.m. So basically Saturday night, but technically Sunday. And I, it is now Thursday, and I still haven't adjusted to the jet lag. I, last night I didn't sleep at all during the night, and I've taken two short naps today, and so I'm really hoping today I will be able to adjust myself properly to um, sleeping at night when it's dark out and not taking naps throughout the day because it's exhausting and it's really hard to not be able to focus during the day and not be able to really be productive. <clears throat> so that's that and <clears throat> Japan was so amazing and there's still more videos to come but I wanted to get this out there because uh, I haven't really updated you guys on what's happening. So what else has been going on is, first of all, CBS 6 Albany um, came and did a story on my tiny house and so I'm going to share that whole two minute segment right now. You can skip over it if you're not interested in it because those of you who've been here for a long time have already heard my story but basically they contacted me and it was just a super cool experience because I haven't had someone else tell my story besides through small writing pieces and so I've really been the storyteller in terms of of telling my story related to you know the building of this house and so this was super awesome that um, I kind of provided the material and they came and saw the house and then they created the story which was really really cool um, so I hope you enjoy that in tonight's Positively Upstate, you're about to see downsizing to the extreme. A Columbia County teen builds a solution to paying rent or a mortgage when she heads off to college. And at CBS 6's Julia Dunn shows us the solution, well, it's tall, yellow, and on four wheels. 20-year-old Annabelle O'Neill was the antithesis of the lazy teenager when she built this tiny house in her parents' backyard. Yeah, I built it myself over the course of about two two years this was her own space to read and write and eventually a means to pay for college for room and board it costs around fifteen thousand from what i've seen and so i really thought i could build a tiny house and take it with me to college life had other plans for annabelle she ended up staying with family in philmont until recently she was living here a home she built all by herself learning how to do it through youtube videos i've watched probably five thousand videos i would guess on various tiny houses designs how to build for minimalist living it's all the amenities you'd need to live decently packed so that's how i get up to my loft into 150 square feet I think a lot of people think it's going to feel super small, and the reaction I always get is that they feel like it's super big. It's almost off the grid. It still gets electricity from the house. Heat can be made from this propane tank converted into a wood stove. You have to cut the wood small to fit in there, but it definitely works. When this is so cute. Altogether, she says this cost her $13,000 to build, no labor costs. Hiring someone to do it is probably between fifty to 60000 Annabelle says these tiny homes are part of a movement for people looking for portable, low-cost, eco-friendly living arrangements. Such an amazing solution. People of you know, low income who don't have the resources to buy a big house and can't get a big loan. Annabelle says she plans to move her house next year. The destination, still to be determined, but it could be anywhere. Something like this is still a really great space, still a house. Um, but it doesn't cost as much. In Philmont, Julia Dunn, CBS 6 News. Pretty amazing, and it's time to celebrate the positive if you know someone. All right, and then the other thing I wanted to 
update you guys on is that I am almost set to start building my small camper. I've got my trailer chilling out there and there's some technical things I'm trying to decide if I want to build out over the wheel wells or if I want to just if I want to build out over the wheel wells and over the the front and back or if I just want to build over the front and back and weld directly on the trailer for the sides. Very unsure about that. We'll see. I would like the more space but at the same time I really want it to be super strong and I know welding to the trailer would make that the strongest. So that's happening and then I've got all my tools or most of my tools here I've got an abrasive chop saw to cut the three-quarter tube uh, metal pieces I've got a MIG welder to weld everything together I've got a uh, what is this the angle grinder to make uh, angle cuts in the square tubing this is unrelated but a slack line which I'm going to set up just over right by the trailer, so you'll probably see me getting on that. Right here, I'm not going to show you, but this is a welding jacket, cotton, um, flame retardant. And then this is just a metal plate, which I'm not going to open either. But it's just a metal plate for me to practice the, the welds on before I do it directly on the piece. And I also got some awesome things while in Japan, like... The quality of stuff is just ridiculous. I got two towels and these bowls, which are which are amazing. I can't rave enough about them. Um, this shirt I got while in Japan. I am definitely going to be going back there. I don't know when, but that was just such an awesome trip. Alright, yes, I did just go change and... It is just a few few minutes later, but I neglected to tell you guys about the metal bender to make the um, arcs in the, um, the square tubing. And I never showed you the square tubing. So, let's open this, maybe, just as much as I don't create a huge mess in here. Wow fancy so let's see this is what it looks like there's the handle for it in there um you use I think these two things which I'll be able to move apart I believe and you squinch you pin oh gosh I mean I have so much black all over me when I start this but um, I think it opens and it holds the the square tubing in place when you try to bend it but I'm not gonna take it out either just because I haven't I haven't started building it's still pretty cold so I don't want to do that yet I mean go show you the square tubing but I do want to hear your opinion on um, the whether I should build, let me just go show you because I haven't, um, that's, that's all I need. Alright, so, here's the square tubing, right here, 24 feet long, I forget how many I got, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 of them. I haven't unpacked that either just because I haven't used them yet. And here's the trailer. It's a 6x8 trailer. So what I'm planning to do is build out. So I'm going to build an extra probably about 2 feet out here. And then just a little bit extra over this. Not, not much because it's the end there. Um, but if I built out over the wheel well here and over the wheel well there, I would get an extra foot and a half, which is super, a super huge amount for such a small trailer. So I'm just not sure because I don't really want to have to bolt 
each of the square tubing to like a two by four frame for the floor. But that's what I would have to do if I decided because otherwise I'd be, you know, I'd be welding to the trailer if I didn't build out. But if I did, I wouldn't have anything to weld to because I'm not planning on welding out another flat piece just because um, I don't know welding that well and I wouldn't trust myself to do that properly. So, yeah, let me know what you, what you think. I'll be hopefully starting building fairly soon. Um, I just want it to get a little bit warmer and yeah, maybe... Maybe this weekend I'll start, so maybe in like three or four days, but otherwise, that's it. We'll see you guys in another video. Hope you're having an amazing day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.